Newsletter sign-up forms are a common feature on web applications today. They allow users to submit their email address and receive updates from a company via email. But these newsletter forms can present a bit of a problem when we're writing automated tests. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to test newsletter sign-up using Playwright and disposable email accounts. Let's go! Okay, so here I have a project in Visual Code Studio, and I'm going to use it to install Playwright. So if we open up a terminal and type npm init Playwright, it will install some packages for us and create the required files. So here it's asking me if I want to use TypeScript or JavaScript. I'm going to just select JavaScript here and where to put the tests in the tests folder. We don't need a GitHub action and we want to install the Playwright browsers. So back in our editor, let's open up the test folder and the example test that we have generated. Okay, so we'll type page.go to and then say HTTPS newsletter.mailslurp dot biz all right okay and now let's run this test and we can use the debugger to find the elements we wish to select and then we will enter an email address and name into those elements and submit the form so i'm just going to define a variable there so i can add a breakpoint okay so now we can run this test in debug mode so we right click on the play symbol and click debug test and this opens up the browser and shows our newsletter page. All right, so the next step now is we want to find the elements to fill the form. So for the email address, if we inspect that, we can see that it has an ID called email. And under that, the name has an ID called name. And the submit button has the ID submit. Okay, so let's stop our test. If we go back to our test now, what we want to do is say await page.fill and put in the selector. We're going to say fill the email with an email address and fill the name with a name and then click submit. Okay, so at this stage, you might be wondering where do we get an email address from? Well, so now we need to bring in the free disposable email accounts from a service called Mailslurp. So if you go to mailslurp.com and sign up for a free account, then log into your account, you can gain access to the API key. So here is our API key. We're going to copy that. So we will install a new package called npm install save dev mailslurp client. Okay, now that that has installed, we can configure MailSlip in our test and use it to generate a new email address. So let's do that now. So we'll say const uh, MailSlip equals require MailSlip client dot default like that. Okay, and now in the next step, we want to configure an instance of the MailSlip class. So we'll say MailSlip and then we'll pass in an API key and we'll paste the API key we got from the dashboard. All right, okay. Now we want to define an inbox. So we'll say mailslurp.create inbox like that. So that will create for us a new disposable email address. And we can enter that using inbox.email address like so. So for the name, we can just define a name like Jack. Let's move the debugger further up before we run this test so that we can see it actually fill the form. So let's run debug test now. now. Open our browser. We can see that it is stopped on the newsletter loader. So let's click step over. And it has selected the email account. And it has filled the email account with our new email address. You can see that here. And then if we click play again, it has filled the name with Jack. And if we cl click play one more time, we can see it has submitted. And it says, thanks for signing up. Great, okay, so we have just written a test that created a brand new email address and used it to sign up for an email newsletter. So the next step will be to confirm that the newsletter was received. So let's stop our test. And let's say await mailslurp.waitfor latest email. 
So this is a function in mail slip that lets us wait for emails to arrive in an inbox. So if we pass in the inbox ID and a timeout, we're going to say 1200 and say true as in only wait for unread messages. This will wait for the email and we can assign it to a variable. Next, we can say expect, we can say email.body to contain welcome plus my name. All right, let's run that and see what happens. Okay, so let's run our tests again and see if they pass. We can see now it's waiting and the test has passed. In five seconds, we were able to create a new email address, load our newsletter, sign up for the newsletter, then receive the email sent to that inbox. We then verified the contents of the email contain the correct welcome name. So there you go, folks. It's really simple using Playwright and MailSlip disposable email accounts to test newsletter signup processes in your app. So get started today and like and subscribe below for more content. Thanks.